What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the Hum Baby Baseball Channel. Apologize for the quality in this video. You know, we're going backwards here on the Hum Baby Baseball Channel. No, but in reality, I'm here in Arlington, Texas, and we're covering the National League Championship Series. And obviously, the big storyline right now is what's up with the Dodgers? Is it going to happen again? They are down 1-3 in this series, and they're on the brink of elimination again. And I'm not trying to pick on the Dodgers. I know I'm a Giants fan. I'm not trying to come you know, crazy on the Dodgers. I understand, you know, it's tough. You got to go through a lot of teams, even more this year than your regular season. It's tough, but it's got to be frustrating when year after year, the Dodgers go out, spend a bunch of money. They put this team together. It's like a, practically an all-star team. And I've said that multiple times, and that's really what they look like to me. And that's being honest. It's just incredible, an incredible lineup, a good rotation, a really good bullpen. I'm just all around, clearly on paper, the best team in baseball. Then in the regular season, they go prove that. So it's not just on paper, they prove it. They go out and win a ton of games and they have the best record in baseball almost every year. And then they get eliminated. Sometimes they make it to the World Series, but oftentimes they don't. They don't even get that far. Last year they got eliminated by the Nats in the NLDS, and this year they're on the brink of elimination in the NLCS. Kershaw wasn't great yesterday, he wasn't horrible. I was there at the game and I saw his stuff and it looked decent. At first I thought he was gonna pitch a really good game. You gotta get Full credit to Bryce Wilson. Shout out to Bryce Wilson. Oh my goodness. First postseason appearance, he gives up one hit over six. And yeah, the Braves take out the, the Dodgers without any really major issues. Dodgers did threaten a couple times, but never really came within reach of catching the Braves in that game. So what's up with the Dodgers? I mean, is it gonna happen again? Is Dave Roberts' job uh, in jeopardy? Is he gonna get fired? What is going on? Why can't they play? And, and what's up? Now, Clayton Kershaw, not to pick on him again, but we're talking about a guy who in his career, his postseason career, has accumulated almost 200 innings. He pretty much has a full season of a sample size just in the postseason, and he's 11-11 with an ERA over 4, 4.27 or something of that nature. So we're talking about somebody, and it's probably even worse now after yesterday's game. We're talking about somebody whose career postseason ER, uh, career postseason stats are about a season long, and that season is very average mid-tier third or fourth starter in your rotation we're talking about clayton kershaw the majority of that play, uh, playoff experiences was in his prime and now he's not exactly old because he showed in the regular season and he's still absolutely dominant and he showed in the regular season that he can still pitch especially in the even in the postseason against the brewers so this dude is legit but yesterday was a tough game do you give him a break or not because of his past experiences in the postseason did you give Dave Roberts a break? Did he do anything blatantly horrible that I can tell you yesterday? Obviously, when things don't work out, you can say, well, he shouldn't have made that move, he shouldn't have made that move. But nothing at the time was I like, what the hell is he doing? What the hell is this? That didn't happen really yesterday or so far in this postseason. To my knowledge, please correct me if I missed something. Maybe he did do something stupid and crazy, but um, I didn't see anything like last year. Sometimes it just doesn't happen. You're not gonna win a World Series every year. But when you have a chance to and you make dumb moves, that could come back to bite you later when you don't make dumb moves and things just don't go your way. This is baseball. And it looks like the Braves are ready to win this thing. And, you know, it, we can act like the Dodgers still have a, obviously they have a chance, but when you're down 3-1 and you're about to face Freed in game six if you get there and Anderson in game seven if you get there. So they can win to that tonight. Clearly they can easily win tonight. I'd say they have the advantage tonight. But then Freed, it's close. They could win. And then Anderson, it's close. It's like basically flipping a coin three times and hope it lands on hits three times. I mean, if we just take everything else out of the equation. But if we take into the equation that the Braves look awesome, Osuna is swinging an incredibly hot bat. This whole team has really come together. They got the mix it up going on. I mean, they are really, they, they, they feel like the Nationals of last year or the Giants of 14, 12, 10, whatever you want to say. One of those teams that just looks like they are on their way and the Braves look like it. Obviously, the, Nat, the, the American League teams are, are fighting for it and they're gonna have a chance as well. The Rays are up in that series. The Astros are trying to come back. They're not giving up. Anything could still happen. We still could see that Astros Dodgers World Series that I said would be so crazy. But right now, I'm focused on the Dodgers and what is going on with the Dodgers? I can't believe it. It must be incredibly frustrating to be a Dodgers fan because your team is the best team in baseball every year and you can't get that ring. Obviously, I'm a Giants fan, so I don't root for the Dodgers. 
but I do feel bad for some of their fans, especially you know friends of mine and subscribers and you guys. I mean, this this has to be very frustrating. But hey, you gotta get it done in the postseason. So. Um, it's simple as that. I don't know what else to say. I think Dodgers are going to keep on trying. If they don't win this year, they're obviously they're going to go out and make some moves. They're probably going to pick up another arm for next year. And like, well, you know, we need someone else. Kershaw's not going to last forever. And besides, he can't really get it done in the postseason consistently. So I think that the Dodgers are going to be looking for a super ace. I mean, somebody right now they have a great rotation, but they're going to be looking for I mean, top tier ace uh, very soon. And uh, so we'll see you guys, but let me know what you think of the Dodgers and tonight's ball game. I definitely have the Dodgers winning tonight if I had to predict just because, you know, it's pretty much gonna be a bullpen game for the Braves. I can see this Dodgers team being just so focused and motivated tonight, facing elimination that they're gonna win this one, you know, going away. But game six, Freed, I say the Braves are gonna win either game six or game seven. So. Looks like the Braves are in the driver's seat right now. So, hey, if I could be wrong on that, we'll see what happens. So, guys, hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed. So, you guys have a fantastic day. We'll talk to you next time.